Filipinas at NASA, from barrio roots to the stars. Ever wonder if someone from a small town in the Philippines could end up working at NASA? Meet three brilliant Filipinas who turned that dream into a reality. Josephine Santiago Bon. Raised in the Philippines, Josephine Santiago Bon studied engineering at UP Diliman. She once thought NASA was just for geniuses, until she became one. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, she rose to become chief of the Advanced Engineering Development Branch, leading over 20 engineers on moon mapping missions. Josephine proved that even a girl from the Philippines can help lead humanity back to the moon. Two, Angelita Castro Kelly. Born in Jones, Isabella, and raised in Sampaloc, Manila, Angelita Castro Kelly was a pioneer. She became NASA's first female mission operations manager, a role where she see pooh Earth-observing missions like Terra, Aqua, Poir, and Aura. Her work gave scientists critical data on climate, oceans, and our changing planet. A Filipina at the helm of some of NASA's most important satellite missions? Absolutely. Three, Dr. Gay going Jane Perez. From Naga Camarina Sur, Dr. Gay Jane Perez is a physicist and satellite scientist. She led the launch of Duwada One, the Philippines' first microsatellite, and even conducted postdoctoral research at NASA Goddard. Today, she's the deputy director of the Philippine Space Agency, using space tech to monitor crops, typhoons, and disaster zones. From Isabella to Naga, from Sampaloc to space, these Filipinas prove that brilliance knows no borders. Like, share, and comment if you believe Filipino women belong in space science. This is anything but Filipino, where we tell the stories others forget. 